Well, now, I, I do want to ask you about how did you end up getting Iggy Pop to be your backup singer? Oh, that is, it's unbelievable, this story. I mean, I've got to give you a warning because there's a lot of name dropping in this story. <laughs> oh, yeah, awesome. I'm ready to pick them You're up. You're ready so to pick them up? Yeah. Okay. Well, Peter Gabriel invited Vicar and I to go and join his tour around the world. One for the basket. <laughs> and part of that tour involved a recording week at his property in Bath. Right. And, and another part of that deal was he said, you know, I encourage everybody to collaborate. He goes, so sometime in this recording week, just go up to the drummers of Burundi or Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan or, <laughs> you know, Tuvan throat singers oh and just say, would you like to join me in the studio? Vicar and I thought, we, we chickened out, basically. We were too shy to ask for help. So we didn't say anything. We kept putting it off, like kind of like a bad exam. And um, <laughs> so we did a set at the Reading Festival and we were singing in the gospel tent and I walked off in a break and in the back of our tent, which kind of was as big as a Bunnings sausage sizzle tent, <laughs> it wasn't huge, was Johnny Depp and Iggy Pop. <laughs> Sitting, that's three, yeah. <laughs> sitting huddled on a couch in our dressing room and I just, I just went, oh, hello, and they went, oh, hi, do you mind? It's really cold, we we're getting wet, do you mind if we sit in your backstage area? And I went, no, that's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. And went back out on stage, finished the set, and I said to Vicar, whatever you do, when you walk off stage, don't freak out. <laughs> and she went, OK. And so we finished the set, she walked off stage and just went, Hello. And they went, hello. She went, how are you going? <laughs> it was good. We were having a great time. We got to know Iggy. Yeah. He was very friendly and so was Johnny. And then we were just chatting and said, look, you know, he goes, what are you doing tomorrow? And we said, look, we're running out of time. We have to collaborate. We're too shy to ask anyone. We just don't know what to do because Pete is expecting us to do something. And, and Iggy said, I'll do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> collaborate with me. Yeah. He goes, I'll do it. What do you need me to do? And we said, sing a song with us. He goes, sure, when? And we said, tomorrow at three o'clock. And he said, sure. And we went, OK. So we rocked up to the studio. We went our separate ways and three o'clock came and Vicar and I were sitting there going, he's not going to turn up. There's no way. You know, why would you? And sure enough, on the knocker, three o'clock, up comes Ziggy Pop with Johnny Depp, Kate Moss. No. Vernon no. Reed from In Living Colour. No. Yep. They all rocked up together and they watched him sing our Paul Kelly song with him. And I said, Iggy, do you mind, can we please do that one more time? And he said, I never do it more than once, but I'll do it again. And he did it three times and he was just beautiful. And we've got the photo to prove it. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> that is wow. the most amount of names that have ever been dropped in the story <laughs> of this show. I hate name dropping, but it's true. <laughs> oh, God. That's brilliant. That's amazing. I think you get a point for every name. <laughs>